Hello viewers, welcome back again. This is your teacher, Roger Michira. Today's class is history, and the today's topic is development of agriculture. We get to look at the beginning of agriculture. So in our previous class, we did discuss what agriculture is. We defined and we said this is the rearing of crops and also animals, right? So you get to cultivate crops and also you get to rear animals. That is the... Uh, the, the, the brief uh, explanation or definition of agriculture, what agriculture is. Now, in our previous class, we did look at the, the crops that were being domesticated by, by man. We looked at barley, we looked at wheat, we looked at sorghum, yams, right? We also, we also looked at rice, we looked at also maize. But again, uh, today's class, we get to domestication of animals. So class, what do we expect at the end of the lesson? We do expect that we'll be able to state some of the animals that were being domesticated by man. And again, you get to state why, why, why did man domesticate some of these animals, right? Reason, reasons as to why man domesticated some of these animals. Now class, straight to our discussion, we must first know that the domestication of animals wa was a gradual process. They didn't just begin, right? It, just, it, it did not just begin like man has now started domesticating a, a dog. Man has started domesticating a, a cow. No, 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 it was just a gradual process. And how was this gradual process? So we get to realize that man first established ties with the animals, right? That the relationship between, and man was, between man and animals was first established. For example, during hunting and also during fetching water. Remember, these also animals could get water, could want to get water, right? And also man will, 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 could also go to the water points. That is where the first ties were being made. That relationship was vast, was first made between man and animals. Then also after establishing the relationship ties, now the young ones were being taken and taken care of, right? Meaning they were put in captivity. They were tamed. They were trained, right? They were trained to accept man. They were trained to, to be with man. You see now that relationship is gradual. Right? It didn't just start from, from one. Right? It was just a gradual process. Now, can we get to look at some of the animals that were being domesticated by man? One, we have a dog. And a dog, this is one of the earliest animals to be domesticated by man. Among all those other animals, dog, the dog was the first animal to be domesticated. And again, a dog was beneficial in a number of ways. Right? That's the dog. As you can see, that's the dog. Get to see how fierce it is. Good, look at the eyes, right, very fierce. So the dog was helped in, or rather it helped man in hunting and also provided security. How did it provide security, right? I know we all know what dogs are. There are, there are homes you go and then they, they, they tell you, here we have got very fierce dogs. Make sure when you come, you'll have to inform us or, or make sure you call. Don't come alone, you, you need to tell us, you see. That is how fierce dogs are. So they provide security. And also the dogs were used by man in hunting. Look at the, the next dog there, right? Very fierce and strong also. So man used a dog in hunting. Can you get to look at the second animal that man domesticated? The goats, right? So the evidence of domestication of uh, domesticated goats has been found in Asia. The Asian people always reared goats, right? They domesticated goats. And what was the purpose of domesticating these goats? One, goats provide milk. You see that? Goats could provide milk. And we all know goat milk is one of the favorite or the, or, or the best among all, the, all those other animals that produce milk. And also, look at meat, right? Goat meat, very delicious. So goats could provide meat and also milk. Then get to look at this, the, the, another animal that was being domesticated by man. Sheep, we have sheep. Just like goats, sheep were domesticated by man and they could also give milk and also meat. And they were first found in Iraq and also in Syria. So those are the two places that the sheep were first discovered, in Iraq and Syria. And just as the goats, they provide man with milk and meat. Now class, also, we have got another animal that was being domesticated by man. We have got cattle, right? So they were first domesticated in the southwest of Asia. Now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, to, to look at some of these, all these animals, it seems that the, their origin was from Asia, right? 
Yes, that's the cow now. Look at the horns. So, you, so we have got two, two, two types of cows here, eh? right? Cattle, there's one that has got horns and there's one that has got no horns. Look at that. Good. Now those are the cows that were being domesticated by man. And also, we also had a camel, right? It, was, uh, it, it can be traced back to North America, right? North America, and it is very common with the people of the desert. For example, in Africa, it's very common in North Africa, northern part of Africa. Very common. We have the, we have the camel, and the camels are, are of two types. We have got the one that is, has got one hump, and also the other one that has got two humps. And also, one thing you must note that a camel is known as the camel sheep. Reason being, it is able to survive in the desert climate, right? So it can go along without water and food. What helps is because of the of the hump. Now, class, we have stated a number of uh, animals that were being domesticated by man. We have just looked at a few, and there are very many in your course box, right? Now, that's we have given you an assignment. Get to look at what is the first animal that man domesticated. We have stated a number of them. We have stated cattle, we have stated uh, sheep, goats, camels, dogs, right? But what is this first animal that man domesticated. For your reference, get to use our evolving world, history, and government. Now, class, we always have got very many lessons that we have done, so you can get to check on our YouTube channel, Elimu TV, and always remember to subscribe at that, uh, that page where you watch more videos, and let us keep Elimu TV where you get to watch and learn.